Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to give everybody an update um, because we just had some construction finished. It's all done. If you know what I'm talking about, we are happy to report it's all done. So for those of you that have been following along, um, this staircase, which goes up to our front door, has been a serious problem. <laughs> so because Terry is... Um, wheelchair slash bed bound right now more so wheelchair bound because he can get up and down with a walker out of the bed um, but because of being in a wheelchair this staircase which comes down our front steps has been a huge impediment um, and it's been keeping him from being able to do wheelchair transport and keeping him from being able to get to uh, doctor's appointments and things like that because unfortunately um, even though he can stand up and get out of bed himself, as long as transport companies have to help a person get down the stairs, whether it's by gurney or stair climbing chair or whatever the case may be, they still want to charge you the same amount. They still want to charge you like $1,600 per trip. <laughs> so um, we decided that we were going to figure out a way to get Terry down those stairs without having to use them so that we can either have it cheaper or maybe covered by insurance. I don't know if insurance will cover it, but if not, it'll, it should be cheaper. So I found somebody and hired them to pave the side alleyway to our house and it has been completed. So I just wanted to show everybody like that's the front of the house. It's the garage inside there. Inside the garage, there's a soundproof room that's built. That's the studio for Craig. So um, if you go into this garage, you can get into the studio. And now you can get into the garage because of this long alleyway we had built. And so this goes from the garage. I'll just take you up it real quick. It goes up the alleyway we installed lights solar powered lights so it catches the sun up there and then it beams lights from there i don't know if you'll be able to see them too much but oh see i just turned them on there okay so there's one light then you go up a little bit, and there's the garage. That's my car. Go up a little bit. Here's another light. Go up a little bit more. There's another light. And then you go all the way up to the top. There's the third light, or fourth light, rather. And then if you turn this corner, you're in our backyard and you just make your way around here and right there is the patio door into the main part of the house so terry can come out that patio door in the wheelchair we have a little ramp built here go down here and then the alleyway is right there So with any luck, if things go as planned, uh, we plan to be back in the studio for the first time since April 2nd of last year. We plan to be back in the studio for the next Crag Live, which is not today, obviously, uh, but it'll be next Saturday. So whatever date that is, next Saturday. Um, if everything goes as planned. So just keep an eye out for bulletins and postings and everything. And we'll tell you guys if that's happening. Um, I think it probably will. Um, but we'll let you know. We just gotta make sure everything works out the way that it's supposed to. The first Craig Live back, we won't be doing an interview guest. We'll just be talking, playing music. Um, but we should be able to get back to doing interview guests very, very soon. While I was back here, um, I wanted to show you guys this. So if you remember a while ago, would have been a year in May, uh, Wicked Kitty passed away. And I had posted pictures before 
because we had gotten her this statue. It's an angel, a kitty with angel wings. And we had gotten her a marker. But the concern was is because we've had so much crazy weather lately and snow and rain that the ground underneath was starting to get washed out. And we didn't want any critters because we do have a lot of wildlife out here to be able to get to her. So when we had the alleyway cemented, um, they did a little cement pad over top of her grave. You can see it's engraved with a heart. That's actually in the cement. And then on top of that is her headstone with her kitty angel statue. So very nice fitting memorial gravesite for our wicked kitty. And come out here and visit her often. Miss her very much. So, um, I just need to practice with this ramp a little bit. Because <laughs> it is a little steep. But I think it'll work out. And hopefully, good things are on the way.